Jules, Flo Balogun scores his first goal. Yeah, exactly. On his second start, he started against Mexico, was good, didn't score. Uh, did against Canada in a game where I thought, especially in the first half, the US were quite impressive in the, the, the quick transition forward, for example. Scored two early goals, early goals, well, the first one certainly. Joe Reyna, shining, maybe he's the new... Uh, Dyed hair? No, as you say, like bleached hair. Bleached hair that you no, had. I think that's like because Eminem. he's trying to be in disguise, so nobody thinks it's him because oh. he's upset enough people. It's like Michel Reyna, <laughs> um, yeah. you know, or like Antoine Griezmann. Maybe that's the inspiration. I don't know, uh, but that was good. That was good. The, the you know the very attacking team because you had Aronson, Reyna, and Musa in midfield, and you had obviously. Uh, Pulisic and, and Balogun and Tim Weah up front, so very attacking team against Canada. They didn't have much of the ball. That's the McKenney suspended, of course, yes, after the semi final. Exactly, after what happened in the semis, which is our next question. But this is good. And considering that the, the head coach, that's another next question, is not even back yet, I, you know, this is positive, certainly. Yeah, this Canada, good side. So. Yeah, good side. We're the strongest team, too. And speaking of that US and Mexico semi-final, Gabby, it had to be abandoned a few minutes from time. What happened? So it's the usual um, chant that has been, been yeah. talked about so long, which is it's um, it, it's a, you know, it's a discriminatory chant because it contains uh, homophobic uh, references. Um, this is a classic situation where they they apply the the protocol first yeah. step where they make the announcement saying, all right, stop with the chant. Second step, they suspend the game. Third step, they abandon the game. Um, I don't see how you can deal with this other than with a protocol. Yeah. Because people say, oh, it gives you two chances to be racist. I'm like, no, it doesn't. Because you know what? You then still face further consequences yeah. afterwards in terms of your individual you get, you can get banned and so on. So that's that's a dumb thing that dumb people say who don't understand <laughs> how this works. Um, however, this is a reminder. In a game like this, you're a Mexico fan, and yeah, it was the Mexican fans. Who it was Mexican saying, fans. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you're a Mexican fan in Las Vegas, right? Maybe you live in Vegas or in California, whatever. You go to the game. You're losing three now. It's nine v nine. There's two minutes left. You're angry because you're losing. Do the chant. See if you can get the game abandoned. What 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 yeah, possible yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. counter incentive would you have? And this is one of the risks. And again, I don't know how you solve it. Yeah. But this is what we're talking about when, with the abandonment in general, and this is why it's not a one step protocol. Is you can't hand the initiative for the game over to the fans. You have yeah. to find a way to make sure that this stuff doesn't happen. Um, uh, we just have a bunch of crappy and perfect solutions right now yeah. is, is the reality of it. Yeah, that's true. More United States. Their new manager is the same as their old manager. <laughs> Mr. 3G, Greg Berhalter. He's your thoughts, back. Jules? Yeah, he's back. I mean, it's been a long process, let's be honest here. They had to... Uh, they also appointed what, general manager for the, for the U.S. men uh, national team. And then I think they contacted a lot of managers head coaches around the world, Patrick Vieira, for example, I think they had a lot of candidates. I think a lot of people were really interested in the job. I think a lot of people within the game sees this job as a very interesting job with a lot of potential from this generation, from the World Cup being on home soil in 2026. All of that, and I guess through the process, they realized that they felt the best candidate was Greg Berhalter, who also wanted his old job back. And we know that we're not going to go back on why uh, you know what happened when he when his contract came to an end after the 2022 World Cup. So I we like him. We said him. We 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 quite transparent here. We like the guy. Um, he did a good I, job at the World Cup. Could have been better, of course. And that last 16 game, we felt with a little bit of a bit of taste in the mouth because he didn't really feel like they they played the way they they could have or should have. But I think he deserves another go. Six months wasted with yeah, his but, nonsense. Because because somebody throws a, an absolute hissy fit, somebody goes and reports no. garbage from many years ago, and we have to he has to be put through this. They wait six months. I know, yeah, but it's a process though. You talk about it's a completely, a completely unnecessary no, process. No, maybe it was, completely but they had to go through un, it. They did not have to go through it. They could have said they, 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 I mean, I I don't know if if they feel better about it. Hey, look, are you right? In some ways, you're right, because I think they also cleaned house of a lot of people. Yeah. The new technical director, a lot of people who'd been there a long time, the incestuous nature of U.S. football, whatever. I'm happy for Greg that he's got a chance to, to come back yeah. and, and, and prove his worth again. Um, 
but you do have a tremendous sense of loss of six months yeah, for that sure. were wasted. But that, what, what I want to know now is what happens with the Reina family. When Beholto comes back, we saw Joe Reina doing really well. In, he played only the first half against Canada, doing really well. What, what's the mindset here? What's the, the mentality? Do, do they get on again? You know, do, they, do they not I, speak? I, I don't know. I think as far as Gio and the manager is concerned, and I, I think that he's a professional. They're both professionals. Um, I think, I, do, I don't believe, I don't know for a fact, I don't believe Greg Berhalter said anything in private that, or said anything in that meeting that he got in so much mm, trouble yeah, for yeah. that he didn't speak to him about, about yeah, yeah. in person, you know, in face to face. So I don't think any of this is going to be new to him. Um, I think Claudio's been a pro. I think hopefully he takes a step back and hopefully that's a bridge that can be rebuilt. But look, Claudio Reina is not playing. He's too old. Yeah, yeah. You could probably use him if he could still play a little bit. Yeah, yeah, he probably, ain't playing yeah. now. So I think he's better off. You realize he's better off inside the tent. I think the relationship with the mom, mm, yeah, that's, a bit that's, that's difficult. Yeah. That's difficult given what, what, what they put Greg yeah. and his family yeah, yeah, through. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.